The AG Grid React UI is a new rendering engine for our grid when using React, and it's written 100% in React, so should have performance benefits for users and tooling benefits for developers. We're going to have a quick look at those benefits in this video. I'm going to use a demo of the React UI, which you can find on the supporting blog post for this video, and it's on StackBlitz. There are links to StackBlitz from the blog post itself. With this demo application, there's a grid and two buttons. The Disable React UI toggles between the new rendering engine and the old. And you can see that it doesn't make a difference to the external functioning of the grid. Sorting is working fine, dragging and dropping, working fine. All the normal grid functionality is the same between rendering engines. The number in green is the count of times that the cell has been rendered. The spinning GIF is just there to add an extra cell renderer for demo purposes. Now we saw that as I sort and as I drag and drop, the rendering count doesn't increase because we've made the grid efficient for React rendering. If I increase the meadows count, then only those cells with the meadows are updated and the rest of the grid is not re-rendered. We're going to see that later on in the profiler. The biggest difference we'll notice is when we are developing. And we'll see the differences in the DOM, the React Dev tool, and the component profiling views. So in the DOM, when the React UI is enabled, the DOM is a simple hierarchy, as you'd expect. We can see the renderer, we can see the cell, we can see the count. With the React UI disabled, then if I inspect the same component, we can see that there's an extra container because we used to have the grid written in JavaScript with portals to host the React components. Now the grid is fully written in React. We don't need those portals for the React components, so the DOM is a lot cleaner. Now we just have the straight hierarchy. And now the biggest benefit for React developers. With the React UI on, we can see that the full grid is named React components throughout in the components view. If I scroll down here, components, components, everything is written in React. Now the anonymous cell renderers here are because we have an anonymous function acting as the cell renderer. But you can see that the spinning renderer is a named function, a named component in the source. We can see that over here in the source code, the anonymous function and the spinning renderer. If I switch off the new rendering engine, then you can see the big difference that this makes to our development. Previously, we had the grid and then we had all the portals for our React components. Now we have a full React grid. We can see all the components in the component hierarchy. This makes a difference when we're developing, but it will clearly make a difference when we use the profiler. So if I look at the profiler, I'm just going to profile the increased medals so we can see what happens with that. Now we can see all the elements of the grid are listed in the profiler and only those that were involved in the re-rendering where we change the number have been changed or re-rendered. We've made the grid as efficient as we can for rendering purposes. If I switch off the React UI, then you can see the old experience, which makes it a little bit harder to determine the performance impact because a lot of the work is done by the grid itself and we don't see the hierarchy components, but we can see some of the React components have been re-rendered. With the new React UI, the development experience is massively improved for both profiling and working with components in the components view. And from version 27 onwards, there are no changes to the code required. The React UI is set on by default. Now this rendering engine rewrite is for React. There are no changes to the Angular, Vue or JavaScript rendering engines and we will be maintaining, supporting and enhancing the core grid and all the rendering engines going forward. Full details of this are in our documentation on the website and the code and examples used in this video are on our blog. AG Grid is an enterprise grid supporting React, Angular, Vue and JavaScript. It has a free community edition as well as an enterprise edition with full support and extra features like integrated charting. 
Learn more at agrid.com.